Hello, my name is Glenn Pike. I'm the Business Development Manager here at Control Logic, and today I'd like to talk about the ABB Water Drive, the ACQ580. We all have, have problems when it comes to motors that foul up, and how do we address this? Well, inside the ABB Drive, the best way of explaining this is with this dowel, which I'm going to call my impeller, and this rag to enable you to see what happens inside the drive. Once we've done the demonstration, we'll actually physically do it in the drive to see how easy it is to configure it. Here we ha have the um, impeller. As the rag rotates around the impeller, the drive senses the torque increase required to turn the impeller with the rag on it, and it triggers the pump clean function. At that point, we rapidly reverse the impeller and you'll notice that the rag is cleared and you can continue operation. However, if you do exactly the same thing and you continuously run the pump and the rag bounds up really tight, you will end up with a situation that if you rapidly reverse it does not clear the rag and at this point you have to remove the pump clean it which creates extra downtime and that's what we're trying to avoid here in this demonstration let's show you the actual demonstration here we have the drive itself this control panel is quite an intuitive uh, control panel and we'll have a look at how easy it is to do this function of cleaning so we're going to menu we then go to primary settings, we then go to pump features, there are a number of pump features, all we're looking for is the pump cleaning feature, and in here we have a number of different options. The options are, start at the beginning, triggers. If we go into triggers, what will start this pump cleaning function? At the beginning, uh, when you start it up, you can trigger it on startup, on stop, you can also trigger it on an overload situation and in this case that's what we're looking at. So let's have a look at the levels that we can set. The torque is what we're interested in and at 10 hertz we have set a, a torque limit of 10% of maximum torque. At 20 hertz we have set 20% of maximum torque. These torque variables will be specific to your application. Once we get to those thresholds, we need to make sure that we have a buffer to ensure that this operation doesn't happen all the time if we have a spike. So once these, these conditions have been met for 20 seconds, then we will trigger the, the pump clean function. Let's go back. Other cleaning parameters that we can set? The clean speed. At the moment we've set it at maximum speed, forward and reverse. The time it takes to ramp the pump up to maximum speed. The time it takes to stay at maximum speed, forward or reverse, the time it takes to ramp down to zero, the time it will take to actually wait in a zero state, and the number of times it will try and clean this pump before it returns to normal. Let's go back to the beginning now and we will actually see it in operation. So let's start the drive. We're going to focus in on, on this ABB logo and at this point we will trigger the pump clean function. So the torque has got to a point where we need to clean the actual pump. You'll notice that it rapidly decelerates and then goes in the reverse, waits two seconds, accelerates forward 
waits two seconds, accelerates in reverse, and at this point you're busy clearing the actual debris inside the impeller. We see the status of this pumpkin in operation. We're currently at 60%. This is reported back to your SCADA system to ensure that the SCADA system doesn't have an alarm. It knows that you're actually doing this function. We've now reached the 100% mark and it will continue in normal operation with a clean pump. I'm Glenn Pike from Control Logic and I'd like to thank you for your time. <laughs>